What's up, taters? What's up, taters? Ken Vandal here. Today's gonna be an awesome day, but before this day begins, I gotta get some sustenance. And I can think of no better way to get started with my day than with a bowl of cereal. Now, cereal's been around for like thousands of years, and a lot of people didn't even know that. In the Bible, when the children of Israel were in the wilderness, God fed them with manna. And if you were to look up manna in the ancient Hebrew, well, it's cereal. More specifically, fruity pebbles. Wow. Just kidding. Hold up, hold up. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for post fruity pebbles, the crispy rice cereal with an intense fruity flavor. May each delicious morsel yield nourishment to my body and sharpness to my aim. In your name, amen. You know, I was thinking recently about coming out with a line of cereal for Slingshot Enthusiasts. They even got some names. Um, Catapult Toast Crunch. And for all you frame makers, Resin Brand. <laughs> you get it? Resin Brand. Resin Brand. Drop cereal on the floor. Dang it. Stepping on it. Does that make me a serial killer? Here's a hack. If you pour the creamery in first, then pour the coffee. You don't have to stir. Mm. Holy crap, it's hot. Oh. All right, I'm gonna try to do this, although I've got a third degree burn on my tooth. <laughs> well, Taters, today is an exciting day in the Slingshot world because today, Simple Shot is releasing their new addition to the Pro Series frames, the Scout X Pro. The Scout X Pro in its thermoplastic version has been one of my favorite frames of late. I mean, I, I've, been, I've been shooting the spot out of this thing. And it's not even my typical frame width. I usually shoot a 90 and this is a 102. But I've been shooting the thermoplastic version of the Scout X religiously. So when I found out they were coming out with a Scout X in the Pro series, Man, I was excited. I was excited as a three-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, look at this thing. Look at this thing. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's a piece of art, yet it's functional. It's functional art. It's fart. Functional art revealed, Tater. Now today, I'm gonna to do what I typically do on just about every day, and I'm gonna go out and get a little range time. Now, I don't go out there for hours every day. That's just unrealistic. But what I do is go out there and shoot about 20 to 50 shots. It just keeps my bearings old. And today, I'm gonna to be taking the Scout X Pro with me, and we're gonna see what this thing will do. Let's go. All right, before we go out, I gotta do one thing. Um, I wanna shoot this in TTF. Now. The reason I want to do this is because I shot a video recently where I shot the thermoplastic version in TTF, and I just want to see what the uh, Pro Series is going to do in TTF. Now, for those of you who are asking, am I switching over to TTF, the answer is... <coughs> now, for those of you who are asking, am I switching over to TTF, the answer is a resounding no. I'm not switching over to TTF. I'm only shooting TTF because I'm trying to understand the mindset of the amateur. And the best way to understand the mindset of an amateur is to shoot like one and to set their frame up like one. So that's why I'm shooting TTF. But I want to show you how easy this is. Um, let me see if I can get a good camera angle here. I'm going to kind of just move this up. Time out for better camera. Okay, that's better. Here we have uh, both versions of the new Scout X. This is the thermoplastic version to which I've been shooting around the clock. And this is the new um, Scout X Pro Series version. 
The difference being one is made in CNC aluminum and the other is thermoplastic. But one of the awesome features is this clip system. It has integrated clips and the only difference between the Pro Series version and the thermoplastic version is that the, um, the uh, uh, Pro Series version, God, it's hard to get these words out, is made in CNC aluminum and that includes these clips as well as the palm swells. It's all CNC aluminum. But what's really cool about this, I'll move this out of the way, is how easy it is to get these um, uh, clips off. All you got to do, and you'll get this tool, it comes with uh, the Pro Series frame when you get it. It's just an Allen key tool. And what you do is, basically, and this thing's a cinch, man. You just, first of all, you got to flip it over. You just stick it in, give it a good turn, and loosen that up. And we're just going to pull that right on out, just like that. And we're going to go over and repeat the process. It's that easy. I mean, and I like these because there's nothing sticking out. You see the screw here? It's not sticking out. Even when you tighten it up, it's obviously loose now. But it will flush with the frame, and I really like that. All right, not only are these the best integrated clips on the market, they are the easiest. We've already loosened it up, so now all we got to do is attach the band. Now, I, I do mark my bands so I know exactly where to put them at and how far to go in. But you can't go but so far anyway. But all you got to do, and I'm trying to do this at an angle, so it's a little weird, but you just want to stick it in that slot, just kind of line it up. And what I like to do, once I get it lined, let's see right here, make sure it gets lined up right. Then I just hold it down. Check it out to make sure I got it right. Flip it over. And that easy, just tighten it up. Look at there, like a glove. And then repeat the process. And there you have it, folks. It's set up for TTF. Now let's go to the range. All right, Taters, we made it out to the range, and um, I'm going to put this thing through it. Pay, through it. <laughs> All right, Taters, I made it out to the range, and I'm going to put the Scout X Pro through its paces. One characteristic about the Scout X Pro is that it is made of CNC aluminum, just like every Pro Series frame. Now, with it being aluminum, it adds a, a bit of weight to the frame. Now, it's not the best for pocketability, but it is awesome for stability. And that's what I want to kind of test today. I'm going to shoot the same, pretty much the same scenarios I shot on my last video where I shot the Scout X in the thermoplastic version TTF. With only one exception, I'm not going to do the knockdown. But um, I'm going to start off with a can. i got to see how this thing shoots. So I've got a can down range. I'm going to fire five shots at it. See how I do. Oh, and by the way, I'm using none other than Simple Shot Premium Black Latex, the best latex, in my opinion, on the market, and I've got it cut to a 12 to 20 taper. So let's see what this thing will do. All right, here we go. TTF. All right. One hit. I'm just going to fire three. I shot under it. <laughs> I missed that daggone can. It's TTF. That's not an excuse. There we go. Sometimes you just got to get a feel of it, you know? All right, last shot. Here we go. Just my warm-up shots. All right, here we go. All right, I want to shoot some paper. And you know how I feel about shooting paper targets. I would tell anybody, especially new shooters, shoot paper. Now, I'm not saying shoot it exclusively, but if you kind of want to know how you're missing and where you're missing, shoot paper. It will tell you everything you need to know, and it will help you in correcting those issues. So I'm going to shoot paper. Now, what's unique is down lane, I've got a paper target set up, and that is the same paper target that I used in my last video where I shot TTF, the, um, the, the, the Pro X. Now, what's unique about this particular uh, target shooting with the paper is that Bell Range, that is the same target that I used in my last video where I shot the Scout X, the thermoplastic version, 
TTF. Now I want to see by using the aluminum version, will I get a tighter grouping? So that's what we want to see. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. Let's see. And I'm just going to take five shots, and we'll see. And I'm just looking at grouping, okay? That's all I'm looking at. All right, here we go. Oh, time out. I took a, a Sharpie, and I marked the shots I took last time on the paper so we can kind of compare them. So here we go. All right, that's five shots. Let's see how we did. All right, I didn't do that bad, with one exception. I don't know what it is. Every time I shoot paper targets, I always got one high flyer. You know, I don't know how to stop that, but I always got one, and there it is right there. I got one high flyer, but check this out. All the rest of them, you'll have to take my word for it because I got the my old ones marked with the red marker. All the rest of them are right here. I got one dead center right there. There's the other one. There's another one. And then there's the other one. So basically, man, I'm grouping these things in probably a, a circle about that big, man. That's pretty good for me. Now, you've got to have the fundamentals, but added weight to a slingshot will add a level of stability. And the proof is in the pudding. All right, it's about to rain on me, so I got time for one more scenario. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to shoot this right here. This is a bulb with a dime on top. Now, you say, that's not a dime. Well, it's on the back of it. I had to put a target on the front of it so I could see it. So I'm going to go back 10 meters. I'm going to see if I can hit this, and this is going to close out my shooting session for the day. Let's go. I'm going to shoot it. Hold on. I had it backwards. All right, here we go. Listen, Tater, I, I know y'all are not going to believe that, but that was my first shot with that right off top. I'm telling you, Tater, that's a fine shooting frame. Look at that. They didn't break it. <laughs> now, I know some of you are shooting pube hairs off of bulbs, but hey, man, that's an accomplishment for me. All right, let's go wrap this up. All right, Taters, I have had a ball shooting the new Scout X Pro by Simple Shot. And if you want to try one of these, all you got to do is go down in the description below. I've put a link, and it's my own personal link. And if you use that link, it'll help bless the channel, but it won't cost you anything extra. And I would really appreciate it. But when you order it, you can get it in two different colors. You can get it in gun smoke, I mean gun metal. I've been calling this thing gun smoke ever since I got it. Gun metal, and let me see if I can get this open. You can get it, I don't know if you can see this, but black. Y'all see that deer? That little deer. Was behind, the little deer is behind me the whole time. I guess he wants to shoot it. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Makeup. And it's gonna come with a lot of extra stuff too, like band sets, the little uh, tool I showed you earlier, you'll get one of those. It's just an awesome package, it's an awesome bargain, and you've gotta take advantage of it. And with that said, I'm gonna wrap this thing up, so until we meet again, be kind to each other, and get out there and bust some cans. We'll see you next time. Later, Tater.